There are two elements to five star service. Number one is solving problems. Solving problems for our clients, which can be beyond what they are there for. It could be what they are there for, but it could go beyond what they are there for. And to solve problems, you've got to ask them the right questions. We're going to ask them the right questions from a place of, I want to really understand what your needs are, what your concerns are, what keeps you up at night, instead of being, cust being, you know, so being customer focused, instead of being services focused. Instead of saying, this is my service, let's see how it fits you, you're finding out what it is that they need and want, and then you're, then the services come later, later on. So being very customer focused rather than service focused, helping them solve their problems that can go beyond why they are there for. A uh, couple of situations that happen when I'm meeting with uh, 1040 clients, these guys are paying just a few hundred dollars for a 1040 return. Uh, one client uh, is paying a PMI mortgage you know, they're paying PMI insurance on their mortgage uh, to the extent of a couple of thousand dollars a year. So what is PMI? What does PMI stand for? Something mortgage insurance. So when you oh, write oh, off. So I thought, I thought it was a, a vernacular or an acronym yeah. for yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a company, not, not the name of a company, I'm right. sorry. So when your equity, you know, when you, your equity in the home is less than 20%, you've got to pay, you're paying PMI. And so, this is taking the time to meet with a client, to hear them, and this is just one example I'm giving, and you guys probably do this in various different ways, uh, so I don't want to be self serving in any way. Uh, but it's an example of where you take the time to hear, to understand their situation. You have a conversation with a client, and you see what exactly, what is it that they need, what is it that, that's challenging from them. So solving problems. Second thing, is being responsive in communication. So we're talking about five-star service, two elements, solving problems, number one, and second is five, uh, responsiveness to communication. So there's a rule that we follow in my office, and I teach others as well, which is three things in terms of communication. Uh, acknowledge, uh, acknowledge, resolve, and update. Acknowledge, resolve, and update. And we're sitting in a, in a in a company meeting a couple of years back or a year back, and it was Marianne who said, This is this, why don't you know this is a simple rule we should follow in our office? You get an email or a phone call, acknowledge it within an hour, two hours. Why? Because you're competing with Amazon that acknowledges it within a minute or within a few seconds. So if you acknowledge it the next day, game lost. So you can have the best. You can have the best solution, and you can be the smartest person in the room, but you've lost what? Credibility. You've lost serious credibility. You can come up with the best solution, but the client's like, I don't know about this guy or this gal, right? So acknowledge, when you get an email, a phone call, within an hour, a couple of hours, you've got to. And acknowledge is, you don't have a solution to the problem. You don't have an answer. You say, hey, got it. I'll take a look at it on Monday. I'll take a look at it on Friday, whatever it may be. So that's the second step, is you resolve, on Monday, Monday comes, you resolve the problem. You resolve, you look into it, you have blocked time to, to do that. So you resolve the, the thing. And then the third step is to update the client, the customer, right? Look into it, this is what, what the solution, this is what the solution was. And so you repeat, uh, sometimes you won't be able to resolve the matter right in one shot. So you'll resolve it, you'll give the client the update, and it'll continue on. It'll be next week or in a few days later, you'll again res you know, work on resolving the problem. You'll again update the customer, the client, the patient, right? And that's kind of what you're going through that process in terms of uh, acknowledge, resolve, and update. So two elements there in terms of five-star service the way I see it. Number one was solve the customer's problem. 
beyond what they're there for. And the way to solve their problem is to become very customer focused. Very customer focused and make it all about them and what their goals are, what their challenges are, what do they want. And when you do that, then you, you will you will create uh, create solutions, you will create value, you will differentiate yourself with the with the, with from, from the rest. And then the second is uh, second thing is responsiveness and communication. All right, good. Um, if you want to see places for improvement in your business from a five-star service, and I think we all should be looking for that because we're not all there. It's, it's a journey. It's never, we're never at 10. We're always working towards 10. The day we think we are at a 10 is game lost, right? So we're working towards 10. So if you're looking for <coughs> improvement, ways to improve, look at your company from the customer's eyes. From the customer, customer lies, how do they view your product, your services, your company? And survey them. Ask them, hey, how was this experience for you? What could have been improved? And when we get feedback, this is not the time to come back to them and say, you know what? That's not how it is. It's not, it's not the time to argue about it. It's, it's the time to receive that information Welcomely, welcomely, welcomingly, and uh, and thank them, and then come back to them if there is something there in terms of uh, 